Hello friends and welcome to AdvidiaWorld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, as from the past few sessions, we are learning and discussing the categories of the representative elements. So today in this session also, we shall discuss the one of the category of representative elements that is a nitrogen family. As we have already discussed the above mentioned alkali metals, alkaline earth metal, boron family and carbon family. So let's understand now the nitrogen family. Friends, nitrogen family is the 15th group of the modern periodic table. You can see here the image. It is the group on the right side of the modern periodic table. We call it a nitrogen family just because nitrogen is the first element of this group. So who are the members? The elements present in this group are nitrogen phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Now friends let's understand some points regarding this group. So the group is the 15th group of the modern periodic table which is situated on the right side of this table. Who are the elements? Elements are nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony and bismuth. Friends, this group is a combination of metals, non-metals and metalloids as nitrogen and phosphorus are non-metals. Arsenic and antimony are metalloids and bismuth is a metal. So if we see the down the group, the metallic character increases. If we move from nitrogen to bismuth, the metallic character goes on increasing. So let's talk about the valency now. Yes, as it is a 15th group, according to the electronic configuration, the valency of this group is 5 valence electron in the outermost shell of the elements of this particular group. And the oxidation state. Well, these elements form covalent compounds usually with the oxidation number of plus 3 or plus 5. And let's now understand the main thing. When we talk about the modern periodic table, we should know these variables. First is atomic radius. Atomic radius which increase inside down the group. That is, if we move from nitrogen to bismuth, then atomic radii go on increasing. Similarly, the ionic radius also keeps on increasing if we move from nitrogen to bismuth. The ionization energy, as we know, it is the amount of energy required to remove an electron from the atom. It decreases when we move from nitrogen to bismuth and the electronegativity similarly goes on decreasing which actually means the atoms ability of attracting the electrons decreasing down the group as the melting point and boiling point goes on increasing as we already know that the amount of energy required to break bonds to change a solid phase substance to the liquid phase substance is melting point. It increases down the group. That is when we move from nitrogen to bismuth, the melting point of the element goes on increasing. That is the bismuth have the higher melting point than the nitrogen. Similarly, the boiling point goes on increasing as it is the amount of energy required to break bonds to change the liquid phase substance to the gases. It goes, so goes on increasing. And lastly, yes, as I have already told you that the metallic character of this group's element keeps on increasing as we move from the non-metals, then metalloids, and then we reach to metals. So friends, I hope you got the main points of this group. Now in next session, we shall learn the oxygen family.
so we shall continue with the same categories thank you